Hello guys, we continue our series this week about Laravel multi-tenancy and specifically the team multi-tenancy and topic of today is switching between the tenants if the user belongs to a few tenants. Like for example, in my case, I've made a drop down extended with menu items on switching the team. And this is the lesson number six in my course about Laravel multi-tenancy. I intentionally skipped one lesson of filtering DB records by tenant because it's the same kind of repeating of a trade of filtering by user. So it's almost the same thing. So today we're talking about switching between the tenants and the last part of the series on Sunday will be about subdomains. If you want the full two and a half hour course with packages and multi-database setup, the link will be in the description below. Now let's take care of the situation of multiple tenants per user. We have the database structure already. So we have tenant user pivot table and we have a choice where to save the active tenant. Basically two choices that I would suggest. Either we add is active here as a separate true false boolean field or we save current team ID in the users table instead. If you would go the route of tenant user, then you would need to change the scope here to where, for example, where pivot is active true, something like that, and then first. And then you would need to add that field into the user here belongs to many with pivot is active. And of course, make a migration for that. But in this course, in this video, I will go the other way around and I will just add current team ID to the users table. So let's roll back all the demo changes here and let's generate migration, PHP artisan, make migration, add current team or tenant, sorry, tenant ID to users table like this. Then in the user model, we add that to fillables. That's my kind of personal preference tradition. Whenever I add a field, I immediately add that to fillable just in case, even if I don't need that directly at the moment, current tenant ID. And we of course fill the migration of users, table, foreign ID, current tenant ID. And we cannot make a constraint here because the field name is different from the table name. So we need to specify references ID on table of tenants. Let's close the sidebar so you would see that like this. We have the migration. And again, let's make it nullable because there are already users. Maybe some users will not belong to any tenant. But in here at this point, let's just refresh the database so we would make sure that it actually works. Let's do PHP artisan migrate fresh. At this point, locally, we don't have any real data. So we'll test fresh. Good. Then we need to get back to registration and change the logic of creating the user in here. We would need to have tenant ID, current tenant ID, but we have the tenant a bit later. So only by here we have tenant ID. So we do user update, user update, current tenant ID equals tenant ID like this. And let's try to register registration form, fake filler Chrome extension, we register, logged in, and in the database, we have tenant user, we have users with current tenant ID equals one. Now let's register with another user and let's assume that that user may belong to the first team as well. Fake filler, register, refresh, and in the next videos, we will build the invitation system, but for now, let's make the changes directly in the database, simulate that. So current tenant ID two is fine, but let's add to the pivot table that this user also belongs to tenant ID one, new user ID two to tenant ID one. So now we have a situation where user ID two belongs to two tenants, how to list them and how to switch between them. And let's add that to the navigation of Laravel breeze here. So we open the file navigation blade, close other tabs, and then here before logout, let's list all the tenants. You could potentially get that list from some kind of controller or view composer or service provider, but for simplicity, I will just list everything here. First, if current user tenants count equals, or in fact, bigger than one. So do we have multiple tenants for that user? And if 
If we don't have, then we won't even list those. One tenant is pointless to list. Then we do for each of auth user tenants as tenant. And for each, we will have a link. And that link is here, X drop down link. It's a blade component of Laravel Breeze. We just need to change that graph. And for example, for now, let's put this here. We don't need that JavaScript code. And instead of logout, we will have the name of the tenant. Tenant name. And let's refresh. We refresh the page and we have syntax error somewhere. This should have some kind of route. For example, let's change that to this. And now we have Barry Madden team and Iris Curry team. And let's make some kind of styling for the active tenant. So X drop down link requires a class with condition. But since this course is not about blade components, let's just copy and paste the drop down link as a link. So you would be familiar with everything and will not raise questions about blade components. So we have a class equals all those set of tailwind classes like this. And then we have tenant name. And we don't need the drop down link. And here we'll have if and if if auth user current tenant ID equals tenant ID, then we add font bold class from Tailwind and have more classes down below. If we refresh, we have the list of classes, but we need to recompile the front end with npm run dev or npm run watch. So the purge of Tailwind would work for us. Let's stick to npm run dev for now. And let's see if our link becomes bold. It should be one of the links built successful. Refresh. And we have one bold link, which is the current team. Now, what should be the link of changing the team? And we will create the route for that. So let's add something to routes web. What controller should we have? We probably should create another controller. PHP artisan make controller tenant controller, for example, tenant change controller, and we will add tenant controller method change tenant, for example, public function change tenant with tenant ID as a parameter. And what that would do, check tenant, change tenant, refresh to dashboard, redirect to dashboard. Three things. By the way, I'm a big fan of doing that to do list inside of the functions. So it would be clear first what you need to do and then you focus on each of them individually. So have tenant controller change tenant in the routes web under middleware auth, we add that as a get parameter, get route, route get, for example, tenants change and then ID of tenant. And let's not use route model binding in this case, because we will still query the tenant with user and still need to check that. And we have tenant controller class change tenant. And let's add a route name here, name tenants change, for example, like this. And in the tenant controller, we need to check if auth user tenants where ID tenant ID doesn't exist, then we abort, I don't know, 404 maybe, let's put 404 here. Or in fact, we may be able to use find or fail here. Okay, let's try find or fail here. Auth user tenants find or fail by tenant ID like this. And we assign that to tenant cool, then we change that to the tenant of auth user update current tenant ID to tenant ID. So that's the other point here, change tenant, and we redirect to dashboard return redirect to route of dashboard like this. And we don't need request here. And in the navigation blade, we can assign a href here now to the route of tenants change tenant 
ID as a parameter. And let's try it all out. We refresh the page, no errors. We have the bolt here and down below you see the URL of tenants change two. Here we have tenants change one and let's click it. Nothing really changed. It seems like we redirected and the first team is in bold here. Now, interestingly, let's try to use projects and the projects are empty. Let's add a project and switch the team and see if we see that project. We shouldn't see that. Oh, in fact, we should see that because we haven't changed the scope. In our trade filter by tenant, we need to change current tenant ID from this to auth user current tenant ID. And now empty list, but if we switch the team, projects should contain our project from that specific team. To complete our multi-tenancy, we need to take care of two things. Identifying the tenant by subdomain, for example, and invitation system.